Hello, everybody. It's that college football guy here with another video. You saw the title of the video. I kind of screwed up. Um, first off, shout out Big Mountain Podcast. I went and went in as a regular old commenter on their channel. Thanks for the shout out, gentlemen. Steve brought up the fact that when I, he watches the channel, I always bring up the traffic. That's kind of where the problem is. Um, and why I got in a little bit of trouble. A subscriber I have. Known him for a long time. He is a state trooper. Not going to say where. I don't deal with him daily, but I've run, run into him enough. The point we're familiar with each other. Put it to you that way. Um, not for getting tickets, but hey, how you doing? Stop, pulled over, whatever. Hey, how you doing? Here, here. Stop at the same stores, you know, that kind of thing out on the road. Um, we work in port of entry, certain places. I'll see him there. Um, but he's the one who messaged me that I shouldn't get detailed about cities and traffic, like the police are here between this exit and this exit. I got kind of yelled at for that. And now he messaged me last night and told me that I needed to dial it back. What you talking about? Don't mention about traffic in any of us at all. Zero. It says, I was asked by people above me. I was like, whoa, 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 hold up. I'm not buying for one minute that whoever's above you is worried about a little 500 subscriber micro YouTuber. It says, no, 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 no. We all know people. And my boss has seen your show. That's why he knows. Somebody's giving out detailed information. No, it's you. But and I was like saying, am I going to get in trouble with y'all for telling this? He says, no. But just basically dial it back. We wanted somebody raised a stink over something with somebody said somewhere. It wasn't me, but still shut it down. I said, well, okay, fine. You don't want anything about it anymore? That's fine. Whatever. But my little thing I always like to do, what about safety week and enforcement week? What about those? Those are only once a year. That's different because the media is alerted to that. Now, some of you are going to get safety week, enforcement week. Civilian drivers are lucky. Y'all get a safety week. We get a safety month. You get an enforcement week. We get an enforcement month. We get nailed for a whole month at a state. There's sometimes where it's like five, six, seven states running at once. Um, safety week is you may get pulled over. They cops say you have a safety week. Look. If you may get pulled over if you're not wearing your seatbelt, if you have your cell phone in your hand, they may pull you over and just say, hey, don't do that. They're not a probable cause to pull you over. They're not going to give you a ticket, most likely, unless you do something stupid besides that. But they're not going to give you a ticket. They're just going to warn you. Put the seatbelt on. Put the phone away. Safety is important. Enforcement week, however... Everything is on the field here. Everything. They will pull you over for no seatbelt, for cell phone in hand, you know, not going hands-free based upon the state you're in or whatever the rules are pertaining to that, city, county, whatever. They will pull you over for illegal lane change. They'll pull you over for tailgating. They'll pull you over for any kind of a... Uh, any traffic infraction they will pull you over for running a stop sign not doing a Hollywood stop and not a full stop anything they're allowed one week per year to fully enforce traffic rules and traffic laws and that one week they do it and it varies county to county like this there may be a safety month in the state but counties may do it at different times and sometimes they even have it dialed it back where based upon the population, they'll do a safety weekend. Or two days during the week. You know, it, 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 it varies. And enforcement's the same thing. Safety enforcement, do that one. So, 
Thanks, Steve. No, I'm just kidding. You weren't responsible for that, but I thought I should. But no. Um, basically, it was a little reminder. I can't do that anymore. Which is... I Okay. But I'm like... Ugh. Who screwed up? That's my attitude. Who screwed up? Oh, well, that's what it is. But yeah, um, this and for those in the the Big Mountain podcast, you're a little bit new to the to the group here. Those have been around long enough know the fact that they'll see me and you'll see me at the house with a bunch of wood behind me, because place I'm living at there's they didn't do drywall, they did cedar. Place is an entire cedar closet, all the way around in Tennessee. So bugs, except for a couple of roaches in a couple of places, are virtually non-existent. So it has that advantage. Um, but the way things always go, there's always different problems in different situations. So yeah, I kind of got in a little bit of trouble. Um, nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, so... No more traffic warnings or anything like that anymore, so that's a do. If, however, safety week comes up, because we're going to get notified of it ahead of time, that comes out, I'll let y'all know about it, just in case you don't get it. And that's uh, they, they give that to the TV station, so I'm not doing anything that the TV stations aren't doing. So that's permissible. Like I said, who pissed who off? That's what I want to know. And I doubt I'm ever going to find out. But that's the way it is. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching this little bit. <laughs> kind of funny. I'm um, up here. Oh, man. I'm up here in um, Pontiac, Michigan. Heading... Somewhere back, heading back towards Tennessee, I got to run into another driver. He couldn't come up here to pick up this load, so I got to meet him somewhere. And we're basically, he's taking the trailer to go home to Mississippi, which is what this load is. And I'm picking up whatever he's got that gets delivered tomorrow somewhere in Tennessee. But he wants a load to go home. So, that's fine. So, like I said... <laughs> I am thinking about going back to do and ask you guys doing again. I, I thought doing before I did before for a little bit, a brief period. Was out on the road. I'd pass because call everything the truck stop conference. The big twelve and there's truck stops everywhere in the country. Well, I drive past a lot of college stadiums. I was wondering if I should go back to doing community posts where I take a picture. What stadium is this? And ask you if you can identify which one it is. Um, there's a lot of them I go by repeatedly. But um, because of the route, there's quite a few that I I see on the regular basis. Haven't gotten the truck close enough to get a picture of the big house in Ann Arbor, in Ann Arbor but I do drive by the shoe quite a bit. Um, other stadiums, other places. Uh, occasionally get to get down to Tuscaloosa. So we'll... I might be doing that. Well, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Um, so thanks again, everybody, for watching. Do me a favor. Smash the like button, hit the thumbs up, comment on the video. You want me to do the traffic, a little bit of traffic stuff I can do, let you know about the safety week when they're going to come and try to pull you over, which is known to the media. They have no problem with this. Let me know. Share them if you want to. Haven't done already. Check out some of the videos I've done. Subscribe to the channel if you want to, slowly but surely on that crawl to 600. Maybe one day I'll get there. I'm not the big fancy YouTuber who has a studio and has a, a, an editor and a producer. I'm just a truck driver on a cell phone. So, <laughs> small time, small potatoes, but I'm not trying to be big. I'm not trying to be huge. The whole thing, I was hoping if I can get YouTube big enough where I can help pay for the groceries, because Lord knows the groceries need help. Yeesh. So, again, thanks everybody for watching. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope everybody's not getting as wet as I did. My jacket's over here on the corner soaked because of all the rain up here in Michigan. So, 
Thanks, everybody. Be safe and please be good to each other.